I'm going to walk you through the steps on inspecting the brake pads on a disc brake system. To do that, we're going to use those colored gauges on the top to check the lining thickness. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is identify the brake lining so we can measure the correct part. So let's talk about a couple parts here. On the left side, right here, we've got the backing plate of the brake pad. If I hold up this one here, the backing plate is going to be the metal side of it that gives it its strength. To the right of that is going to be my friction material. That's this portion right here that also rubs against the brake rotor to slow our car down. In the middle, you can see the brake rotor. It's also visible up top here. As the wheel spins, that's the part that's going to spin with the wheel. You can see it moving there between the pads. On the right side, we also have brake lining for our inside pad. And then to the right of that is going to be our backing plate again, that part right there. So to inspect our brake linings, we're going to take our gauges. And on this gauge, it starts off really thick in the green zone, which would indicate a new brake pad. And then it transitions all the way to the red side, which would indicate a worn out brake pad. I'm going to start with the thinnest one to show you how this would work. So you insert this between the caliper and the bracket, and you're looking to measure how much brake lining is left. In this case, you can see that there's a lot of material there still. I can move this side to side. So let's go to the yellow range. When I put the yellow gauge in there, I still have lots of room to move this side to side. Clearly, the lining is thicker than the gauge. So let's go to the green one. When I hold the green gauge in there, I'm not able to move it left or right. This is the equal distance as the brake lining. So in this case, my brake lining is going to be 8 millimeters thick. It's also in the green range indicating it still has lots of life left on it. Now let's go to our inside pad. Again, I'll start with the smallest one. You can see there's clearly a lot of extra lining. These are not equal distances. So let's go up to the yellow gauge. This one still is not equal to the lining. So let's go to that green one again. Now when I put the green gauge up to it, it's equal thickness with the brake lining, indicating this brake pad has eight millimeters of pad on it still. Now just for example, let's take a look at a brake pad that is worn out. So this would be a classic brake pad that you might see on a vehicle. Hopefully it wouldn't be this bad. On the left side, we've actually gone down to the point that the friction material is falling off. If I set it up here on a rotor, and I try to take my red gauge, you can see it does not fit between the backing plate and the brake lining and the brake rotor. If I flip this over, just for example, you can see that the red just barely fits in between the backing plate and the brake rotor. So in this case, this brake pad on this side would be red. It is down to having less than two millimeters of pad left on it. But because we have to go by the smallest measurement, this would basically be zero brake pad left. Now we're able to check the brake pad in one more location. Down here we have our inspection window. Now the problem with the inspection window is it typically does not let you see both sides of the brake pad. You can see the inside pad, or sometimes you can see the outside pad, but often you don't see both. So just like before, I'm gonna start with my red gauge. Clearly I can move it between the brake rotor and the backing plate. Let's go to the yellow one. Once again, there's still plenty of room. They are not equal thicknesses. So let's go to that green one again. Now when I hold my green one up, it touches the brake rotor on the left side, and it touches the backing plate over on the right side. Once again, this is a brake pad that has eight millimeters of pad left on it. So that's how you inspect brake pad lines without taking anything apart. 
Good luck inspecting your brakes.